Whoa. Okay, there we go. Hey folks, Daryl here. Another Mandela Effect Earth Changes update. Eh, this one here is kind of a trippy one for me especially because I live in Canada. I'm over on the west, not quite the west coast, but the western side, but for this little tour, we're going to be checking out Nova Scotia and Cape Breton, perhaps New Brunswick, if we don't run out of time. Actually, you know what, let's throw in PEI while we're over here. Since we're in the neighborhood, uh-oh, man, oh no. Hey, I don't even want to speculate, but I'm, I didn't like the what I saw at that <laughs> zoom level. Okay, but we just need to get this recorded because I think I'm seeing some areas that are going to experience a lot of change. So now we have the record for posterity. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, where are we here? Let's... Darn, let's start right up at the tip here. And we can... record because I think this is going to be necessary due to some things going on on the east coast. There's been a lot of flooding activity in the last few days. Yeah, wow. Well, see, I don't know. There's... Do we have any folks from the east coast? His subs yet? I'd really like to hear from some locals in any of these places we cover to get some eyewitness verification of the things we're seeing, for one, for sure. Hey, we better keep an eye on this island. There's, that looks pretty suspicious, wouldn't you guys say? that have watched a lot of the videos. That looks a lot like Ty's work. <laughs> for sure. That is an island in change and growth. For sure. Glad we got that. Okay. Let's just cruise along down the shoreline. Wow. wow. <laughs> Bad news for Bathurst. I think your name may, may become quite relevant. Holy crap. Are you serious? The one Darlene. Whoa. Oh shit. Look at that shit. I've never seen this before. This color. But you can tell that is heavy outflow. No dirt. Whoa. Wow. There's people. That's exactly. I would bet my life on it. This heavy track through here is like a lot of land being carried out to sea. That is nutty. Look at this. See, why aren't we hearing anything about any of this stuff? Is everybody's reality in these places altered to a degree that it's not causing panic? Or, I don't know. I'd like to hear lots more theories for sure from people. Looks like this area can going to see, see some major change. Looks like this area probably already has. Wow, anyone from any of these areas in here? I'd really like to hear from you because this looks awful suspiciously much like what we've seen Ty do in other areas that aren't there no more in a lot of cases like when you see it to this extreme like that it's all almost like it's gonna break up or hey there you go he giveth and he taketh away <laughs> this stuff is actually new stuff coming in 
it's been a while, eh, since I, since we stumbled across any of the mucky stuff in this dark water that comes with the muck. But we've been in more tropical locations too, so it tends to be more sand and water instead of muck and water. But you can see the typical seashore outline and a little bit coming in here. Wow, so I didn't even notice we'll zoom out and find out where we are, but yeah, you guys are what, seeing brand new land formation here. I know it makes it a little tougher to swallow when you see like cities and airports and stuff, but believe it or not, there's we've done videos where you can see the airport under the water before the island pops up even. <laughs> so the what is on the land really don't let that fool you as to how long the land has been there. So where were we? Oh man, we haven't covered any area at all. That's New Brunswick tip of. Okay, this looks like a area of high activity along here. Hey, yeah, it's in the salt stage. See, we're seeing more and more at the right zoom level. The stuff I call salt, where Ty told us a long time ago, he had to had to give everything a good salt treatment to get her cleaned up. Wow, yeah, this area here, Point Landry, I don't know, you fellas could be in trouble. Oh wow, no, you guys are winners. We have a winner. <laughs> on the land lottery, you guys are gaining instead of losing. Right on. Enjoy your new beaches. Bay Shore? Ha <laughs> ha, nice. There you go. Maybe he'll leave you a little bay. Maybe he won't. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Trippy. Ooh. Anyone got dibs on the island here yet? No, don't appear to be. Looks like you're going to have an inland lake. Oh, look, oh, see, here's one of those cases where, kind of like what we're just talking about, I swear, we are looking at trees. Those are like friggin' spruce trees and shit under there. I kid you not. I know that sounds crazy, and that you're thinking it's just underwater growth, but I would beg to differ. We'll see. If you want to keep an eye on it, I'd check back on it fairly regular, though, because that thing will probably come through within the next 24 to 48 hours, for sure. Oh, man, yeah, you guys are winning hardcore here. Lots of new stuff coming. Sweet. There you go. Well, we're already at eight minutes, damn it. Okay, look at this. Yeah, you guys are doing fine along the northern end here, wasn't it? Yeah, kind of northeast portion. You're growing in. You're getting all growed up into a big piece of mainland. <laughs> nice. Right on. Jeez, I wish we would have, if we would have been over here two, three, four days ago, we would have had just these really really narrow like just the beach itself we're a little bit Johnny come lately when there's already trees and stuff there okay let's move on and on <clears throat> I think you'll like today's video it's got kind of a cool little punchline <laughs> One that sort of falls in line with, we've had a few people talking about before and after ones, which I do intend to get to. Look at this. I'm glad we're getting this recorded, folks. We're seeing the last of these communities here. Uh, damn, where was I? <laughs> Any idea what I was talking about, huh? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. The before and after 
videos, which we're going to be getting to. Wow, see, like, what is these people's reality here? That live here. Because this is clearly undergoing change all right across the street from these people that are carrying on with seemingly normal lives, I would imagine. Everyone's <laughs> like, hey, Bob, you gonna deal with a base all fucking turd colored? <laughs> wow, I don't know, man, that's trippy. And that, I wonder if these guys, if you're winning or losing here, we'll have to see if that's coming or going. It's awful close to the bridge, let's hope it's coming. But yeah, we'll be getting the before and after videos soon, but with stuff changing as drastically fast as it is, I'm just, I can't stop trying to grab all the data of things the way they are now every day. And I know we're in no hurry. I know when we go to do them that there will be plenty to see. And the longer we wait, the more dramatic it will be. So really better for all. You guys can have a white knuckle ride. <laughs> and I'll hopefully gain a few more subs that will hopefully help us figure out the truth here. That's what it's all about. I don't know if any of you noticed or not, but it's no accident that I don't have the monetization on because I don't want those pricks plaguing you with their propaganda when you're coming looking for truth. So, it's not about viewership for any wrong reasons other than to help share the truth. Here is another brand new island for sure coming in. Nice. Glad we got that one. Okay. What else can we see? We're, oh no, we're coming up 12 minutes already. Okay, look, this stuff here is going to be changing. Just by the color. I'm getting pretty good at identifying the different colors Ty uses to show us the various stages that stuff we're at. These guys here are hurting. Big time change coming for you folks and you uh, living there. Okay, what do we got covered? We did the island down that coast. Let's grab this tip here because this sure looks... I don't know this side of the country at all. Again, I'm counting on you folks that actually know these areas to come with some feedback for us. See, generally speaking, when you get this green fuzzy going on out here, this land is on its way out. So you're, it's expanding, but who knows what kind of waterway, inlet -y whatevers <laughs> are going to be on the inside. Pretty good chance that this is going to change. Oh yeah, look at all the ties work here. We can... You can see his signature pretty good once you've done enough of these videos, or watched enough of them. Oh, oh look at there. <laughs> Neat. Man, I can't wait till we have enough subs that we've actually got eyes out there, boots on the ground in these locations to give us feedback. Check this shit out. Isn't that trippy? I just love the fact that it would appear to me that Ty started in favor of everybody owning beachfront property. <laughs> and if that's not your fancy, it looks like a very dense forest will be right behind your beach. So <laughs> you got your choice, man. Anything except scorched in a shit-ass desert of some kind or frozen and whatever. Snow for any is that I'm sure by now everyone in the world must know the ice caps are gone up top there. But if you're not up to speed on that, that's one of the. I think that may have been the first video 
he did that really got me thinking somebody's got to start getting a record of what the hell is out there before it's not out there. <laughs> Nobody going to recognize our good old earth, whether it's flat or whether it's a ball in your belief. It really is pretty irrelevant at this point, isn't it? Very irrelevant. But the fact of the matter is, it is flat. And that's easily provable. Whereas the round ball can't be proven. Lots of propaganda and tricks that make you believe it, but it's actually maddening once you finally fucking see through that bullshit and see how you should have seen all along. It's kind of annoying. Wow, look at these areas, eh? Tell me those people aren't undergoing some change. That's not natural. No way, Jose. And if so, uh, what up with the road? <laughs> like this. Rot roll. Ah! Shit. Crash. <laughs> right on. Well, see, I know Ty doesn't have anybody's. He's got everyone's best interest in mind, so wherever these people are going that are in these places, they're fine, for sure. <laughs> Alright, this thing's getting too long, so <clears throat> we'll finish with the punchline here. Here we are in Nova Scotia. Bay of... Wow, hon, I think the Bay of Fundy is really, really grown. <laughs> like, really grown insanely grown perhaps you'd probably know that when you'll have to have a look at it when we're done the video anyways this from previous videos we've learned that this heavy silt runoff stuff not good for you should you be in one of these areas you're gonna s better grow some gills <laughs> or you're gonna get relocated but See, this one, it's getting mighty close to Truro. And in fact, it looks like it's a little bit going to, well, it might not be beyond yet, but man, guys, I'd be freaking if I was living there. And just as a special treat for you, this is the first video where I get to offer some real-time uh, verification or whatever you want to call it from the lamestream media and that's going to start happening more and more as there's there's populated areas that are being affected by Ty's regeneration thing he's got going here they're gonna have to start reporting this stuff and even this one like you guys have judged for yourself but they're saying that the flooding is due to bizarre weather or extra warm weather and ice melting or something along those lines. But see for yourself with what we've been watching and this color here that we know means land is being moved out by use of water. I don't know. You guys be the judge. I'll roll. It's only 30 seconds or something, so I'll roll the clip for you and then we'll cut the show. Hey, how come I got no sound? There you go. So this is apparently Truro. This was four hours ago on CBC news feels kind of good to see if I mean it's not good I feel for these people but when you're all hanging on the verge of crazy <laughs> you know it's nice to get some verification that you're not all right folks you all have a good day <laughs>